hello everyone welcome back to be preparing to tutorials and today we came up with uh, one interesting topic that is related to the kpis for the team lead and the associates so before moving to the videos please uh, do share subscribe the channel and also click on bell icon so that you guys can get the notification and also help me with the thanks option you can uh, get on my videos and also check out the playlist you will get multiple information multiple videos on excel tricks then to the uh, various dashboards and yellow bell certification so today's topic is on average waiting time and uh, call arrival rate so these are also the kpis for the team lead and the associate in any bpo company so let's start with first point uh, and the first concept that is average waiting time so basically the average waiting time is when customer or call to the agent and agent plays the call on hold so the hold is acceptable but there are some policies that need to be followed okay so various companies have a policy that the agent or associate is only allowed to keep call on hold for 30 seconds and again he need to refresh the call if he is not refreshing that call then there is an uh, 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 issue there so he need to do this again he need to uh, ask customer that he required some more time to uh, research the details so that he need to be on call he need to place the call on hold so this is all about the holding now there should be a, a certain criteria policy that to be followed for the average waiting time so let's let's see the definition here this is where the agent need to place the customer call on hold while there are acceptable reason for holding call contact centers should always minimize average waiting time because if we reduce it the average waiting time the customer satisfaction will get increased and the customer will think that he is getting the solution as soon as possible the formula is very easy total number of uh, seconds customers spend on waiting divided by total number of calls so i hope this is very easy to understand the average waiting time so if you still have any questions please uh, uh, write me in the comments uh, so that i will try to give you the answers and i'll help you out with your concerns let's move to the next point uh, that is uh, call arrival rate so this is total number of call a contact center receives with a specific period of time the time frame can be specified by day hour or minute so this is something wherein like i can give an example that we have started our shift from morning 9 a.m. Uh, then it will close by 6 p.m. or 9 hours of duration wherein per hour how much calls are given by the client to this uh, respective process or a respective team or respective uh, contact center that is all about call arrival rate so uh, guys this is also an important part and this is also a KPI that need to be met there should be a certain percentage that that number of calls should be answered in that particular hour or in minute or in a day so this is all about the call arrival rate and the average waiting time i i hope you guys got the clear understanding on it so guys please check out our facebook instagram and uh, the youtube page and you will get a multiple information guys about the new latest vacancies and also you will get information about the uh, latest videos don't miss to subscribe to the channel keep sharing thanks a lot guys have a nice day.